Okay, so this is going to be very similar to the first one we did. Let's draw our free body diagram. Same mass. Gravity, m times g, negative because it's pointing downwards. Because this is sitting on a surface and the forces are balanced vertically, the normal force we know is also 14.21. We can call it positive because it's up. Okay, in this case, now we're applying an applied force of 8.93 newtons. And the statement is that it keeps it moving in uniform motion. Now, if it's moving in uniform motion, we know that the forces must be balanced. So the force in the opposite direction is our kinetic friction. And it will also be 8.93, and we'll call it negative because it's in the opposite direction. So there's a free body diagram. We now want to solve for mu. So just like we did with the first example, mu is a ratio of friction divided by normal. Now we're solving for kinetic friction. So it'll be the kinetic friction force divided by the normal. Eight point nine three newtons. Sign doesn't matter. Four point two one newtons. And when we divide, the newtons will cancel out, and it is called a coefficient, which means it's just a number. So here's what we get to a few extra decimal places. And we're going to round to three decimal places or three significant digits. So our final answer from UK is 0.628, which you'll notice is smaller than it was for mu static. Mu kinetic is usually smaller.